Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a couple questions. Uh, first is, what is Link Server? And second is, can Link Server be created um, uh, for Oracle from the SQL Server? Uh, first question, Link Server. Link Server is a um, uh, SQL Server uh, feature that you can create uh, a Link Server in uh, SQL Server. Uh, why Link Server is needed? Um, number one, that um, uh, in many organizations, your data is heterogeneous. That means that uh, uh, diff data is coming from or uh, is residing on a, uh, a different data sources such as Oracle, um, DB2, um, and uh, MS Access, um, and other is uh, Excel, etc. So, in order to uh, 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 link uh, those data sources, you create a link server. And once the link server is created, you can run the distributed queries on the target uh, different heterogeneous uh, uh, databases or data. You can retrieve the data. You can uh, do whatever operation you need to do. So the second question up here is, can link server be created for Oracle from SQL Server? Yes. However, you have to uh, install Oracle client on the, uh, on the machine where SQL Server is running, where you want to create link server. So I'm gonna show you how to create a link server, where to find link server. Um, uh, you can do it a couple ways. One, you can use uh, T-SQL, and other, you could uh, uh, use Management Studio and create your link server. So let's get to it. Um, here's my Management Studio. I'm going to connect with a uh, database engine with the SQL Server instance where I want to create the link server. So go ahead and connect that. Up here, uh, once it's connected, you will see server objects. Expand that. Here are the link server. If there are link server already created, you can click on plus sign and see uh, all those link server. But uh, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new one just to show you what the providers are available uh, from Microsoft by default. So right click, click on new server. Here you will give the name of your server, but uh, our main point is right here, the Microsoft providers. So if you uh, uh, right now look at it, the Oracle is not there in the list. So how we bring Oracle uh, in the list, you install Oracle client on this machine where SQL Server is running, and uh, um, you may require a restart of the machine, um, but um, that should show up in the list. Once it's in the list, then you can cho choose that uh, Oracle client um, in the list and hit OK and make all the security adjustment uh, to create a new link server. And I hope this helps.